This is Daily Gold. Let us begin. Okay, so today I decided to go over towards Blackrock Caverns for today's data collection for the Worth It Beta. Now, with this gold farm, I decided to make my way over there, go in, beeline it through, and try and see if I could complete it in a decent amount of time. Overall, it actually isn't that bad of a gold farm in order to actually farm up. It's quite linear and works out quite well. The only thing that I would state that is kind of a little bit tedious is there's no way to get back to the beginning again, to my knowledge. However, with that being said, I used my dream walk ability to get in and out of the instance, flying back in, and as such, I'm able to actually just reset the instance going forward through there. Following on to all of that, let's just get in towards the results. Now, coming in towards everything and going in towards worth it. Now, if we jump in towards here and we go in towards caverns, we can see the Blackrock Caverns is 79,063 gold. The items of note that I actually got a hold of was Bertro's Staff, 599 gold or 2,658 gold on the region market average. The Toxy Dr Dunk Dagger is 1,097 gold on my server or 1,080 gold on the region market average. Along with the nice little pendant that I got hold of which uh, I'm really curious so I decided to actually post this one on the auction house and that's the lost pendant uh, I'm not going to attempt trying to pronounce that first word that's 554 gold or a region market average of 271 gold there was some keynote ones from this but 79,063 gold ain't too bad so let's just jump into the valuations on the auction house Jumping in towards everything and going in towards duh, 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 Blackrock Caverns, we can open this up and I came out with, after farming the, all this up, is 48,385 gold on my server. Now, having a look at this, there is a couple of items such as like the Razor Wind Star, 4,500 gold that I've managed to evaluate, the Anger Fang Broadax, 14,800 gold, the Sisha Cloak, 3,121 gold. And if we keep going down, there is another Anger Fang Staff for 7,151 gold, as well as the Ab Auras Gloves for 2,312 gold. The rest of them are under a 1,000 gold, so to speak. There is a few different ones that just stand out. However, it mainly is more of a padding gold farm for Cataclysm and it actually the values aren't too bad when it comes towards posting those on the auction house. If we go in towards our mailbox, I know it isn't great, but we managed to sell the dark leather gloves pattern and the Hillman's vest, leather vest, 437 gold, 2,021 gold in total. So pull that all in. That brings us up to 261,000. 559 gold overall this gold farm has, was pretty dead simple in order to farm up the only thing w of note is trying to find the entrance because I actually had to look it up for the entrance instance so what I'll do is I'll quickly show you guys where it is in the actual instance so if we go in towards Black Rock Mountain come down and if we go over here we can see just here it is this nice little cavern bit. There's some guys, just take them out quickly. And all you have to do, I can't actually see the portal, but it's right there where that purple night like, shading is. That is basically the instance entrance for how to get into Black Rock Caverns. It confused me, so I figured I'd actually just show you guys where the entrance is for today. But overall, very easy gold farm. There's no mounts of notes to actually farm up for this. And if we go in towards the worth it data sheet log, duh, 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 we can actually have a look and see that I've only got Grimbatol and Throne of Tides to actually farm up for today. And then we're on to Mists of Pandaria, which is the ones I'm really curious about because yeah, not many people farm up like Mog from Mists of Pandaria besides like the Throne of thunder outside that entrance in the open world so really curious to see what the actual dungeons do 
But other, alongside that, if you want the data sheet with all the data logs, then you can always go over towards the Discord. It's underneath Worth It Data Sheet under info. And that being said, public access version to that one is right there, along with the Worth It Beta. The Worth It Beta is on the Patreon, just FYI. However, the data sheet is free for everyone to use. Alongside that, that's pretty much everything for today. Nothing to really write home about, just a nice little padding goal farm for Cataclysm items. So, that being said, I'm going to get started on doing some more goal farms. Take it easy, and I shall see you in the next video, which will be soon. Mm -hmm.